Do you want to see how we go from office mode to garage mode into guest suite mode? almost two years since we filmed our office desk modification transformation video. Yeah, and it's actually really been working great. We do also get a lot of questions about our office setup, as well as how we transform it from office mode to garage mode, to guest mode, mm -hmm, all that stuff. <laughs> this is a multifunctional room we got going on here. And yeah, and that's really important in RVs, we think. And I think that's why toy haulers are pretty popular, even among a lot of people who don't have toys. Yeah. This space can be used for a lot of different things. It's like just an empty blank box and you can build it however you want. A lot of people use it for a kid's bedroom, which we've seen a lot of pictures online and that looks pretty cool too. And with so many people working remotely now, this is a perfect situation for having an office space that is separate from your living area in an RV. We have really become accustomed to having a separate office. Yeah, I do not want my office and workspace in the same space as the living area. I'd like, to, I'd like, or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to shut the door and shut that away when we're done with it. So, which we really rarely are ever done with it. <laughs> but it's just great to have this whole separate space. For us, it works perfectly. Yeah. So we're gonna walk you through how we transform between each mode. And then at the end, we're gonna kind of give you a little bit of an office tour. Uh, we're holding off on that till the end because we're missing a monitor. Oops. We're <laughs> We did a little bit of modification to the desks to help with the transformation into guest suite mode. And when I did that, I think I broke the monitor. So we got one coming today. So hopefully by the time we get through transforming into garage mode, maybe the monitor will be here. Yeah, so let's get to it. First, we're gonna show you garage mode. Now you may notice we're sitting in a driveway. That's a garage door behind us, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. This is the same process, whether we're mooch docking like we are now, or whether we're boondocking or regular camping in an RV park. All right, so we are getting ready to show you how we go from office mode to garage mode on travel days. And if you aren't familiar with our RV, we have a Grand Design Momentum 397TH, mm -hmm. and our garage is pretty big. We've got the 12 and a half foot garage, which is plenty big for us. They do obviously make models with 13, even 15 foot garages. This is the perfect size for us. It's big enough for our motorcycle. It's big enough for an office slash guest suite. This is also the only model that has a full bathroom back here as well as a full bath up front. We'll link our tour down below. We have a full tour if you wanna see that. Yep, so step one is to what? Get the desks up. We're so. gonna get the desks up and we're gonna get this garage mode going. Yeah. First thing we gotta do, we gotta yep. remove the puppy from the office. Go put your bed away, Daisy. Go put, go do your part. Put your bed away. Put your bed away. <laughs> so first step is just to prep the desks. And I usually start this out with the desks up a little bit just cause it's easier to stand and work. So okay. I'll just. Right about here is our normal stand height. I actually have them marked off with tape down below here. And I just start putting stuff away. Turn these off, stow this down here. I will unplug my laptop, stow that for travel. I get all of the heavy movable stuff off the desk and some of it goes in drawers. I just stash some of this stuff in here. I stash this 10 terabyte hard drive away. This is our archive cache of hard drives of all the years of our filming. We also have copies online. This will go in the truck. Next is the camera bag. The cameras aren't it because it's over there filming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this will also go in the truck with us. 
Now the normal process would be to move the monitor and stash it, which you'll see I'll do on this side, but it's kind of stuck right now because of that. Because no monitor. So for right now, I'm just gonna pop this off and lay it down here. This gets tucked down this way and turned off. This desk is completely ready. Obviously this isn't really gonna be here. I'll move it over here. Also, we'll show you some of our cool office equipment at the end of this video when we get back into office mode. Next is Tara's desk. So just like the other stuff, Tara's stuff gets stashed, turn off her keyboard and mouse. Usually Tara will already have her computer unhooked, but that's just a matter of unplugging stuff. It's gonna be removing any of the heavy stuff that can fall and stashing it in the file cabinet. Drone will go in the truck. Computer mount, get stashed because it's heavy. And now I am going to prep this monitor for travel. And I just go over the top, tuck it under, and then I bring it down. That's really all I do with this thing. And you'll see when I put them up, these are gonna rest against this just enough so these don't bounce around. And this provides enough cushion. Just like the other one, I'll just tuck this behind. It just floats like that. So the speakers, I just kind of tuck in. Sometimes I'll lay them on this little bit of blanket back here or tuck them in. None of this stuff, it, there's really usually not enough motion to make stuff fall off here. I will mention that part of our process on travel day is to stop after about half an hour of travel, pull over, and then I just come back here and check everything, make sure the bike hasn't gotten loose, monitors, or make sure everything is just good back here. Now the desks are prepared and it's time to put them in stowed mode. When I do this, I just keep an eye on the cables as they go up. Since the desks are self-contained and all the wires and everything is pretty much just on the desks with the exception of the power cord, really all I have to watch is the power cord, but I just kind of keep an eye out for any other cables snagging on anything. And I just stop and untangle them if they have a problem. So that's all I do with these. I don't strap them down or anything and they're not they're not super snug. They're not actually pushing up on the bed. It's just snug enough that they're not gonna be bouncing around and flopping around when we travel. The next thing I do, the last step to prep these desks is I have created a couple of areas to pin here. This one doesn't go all the way through because I couldn't get a drill back here. So it just stays like that. And that's really as a precaution if for some reason the chain mechanism that holds these in place happens to fall, they'll stop about a couple inches down instead of hitting our motorcycle. I also, while I've got it in this mode, will move our curtains out of the way to our higher notch up here. And I take an extra bungee cord I have up here and I hang it right here and you'll see why later. Now I just do the same thing on this side. Desks are ready. So now it's down to the floor. Got to get the floor prepped for Lucille. You can see we put a carpet down here for office mode because it makes it much nicer to be working on carpet all day instead of a garage floor. Yeah. I'm going to clear the floor front to back. Start with Daisy's bed. And I just stash this and the weights that I use every day to stay so fit. <laughs> Go back in there. Now I am going to move the chairs onto the patio and I make sure this is locked. I just take these, slide them to here, rotate them off. And last but not least, I just move the wheel dock out of the way. Now I roll the carpet up. Don't roll up the puppy. We don't roll up the puppy. Daisy likes this game. <laughs> it scares her and she likes it all at the same time. And if you're wondering, an eight by 10 carpet fits back here perfectly. We find these cheap ones for like 40 bucks at home buys. Replace it every four to six months. Yeah. 
Thank you, UPS is here with the new monitor. Yay. You guys ready to watch Daisy in action? Here comes, our, here guard comes dog. our Here comes our guard dog. Who's here? Cool. You need to get him? Somebody here? <laughs> so next I just move these back onto the floor where they can be in travel mode. Some of you are going to ask where we got those storage ottoman slash benches and they just came from big lots, like 25 bucks I think. So. Slide this out of the way a little bit and then the filing cabinet and chairs are all going to go right there. I use these long bungees, we'll have a link below. These hold down the filing cabinet in both chairs. You can see that having extra blankets is a big part of this. We will wrap our monitors, wrap our filing cabinet, yeah. as well as keep Tara warm because he doesn't like how low I keep the temperature in the RV. Right, because he doesn't care about my comfort. <laughs> I grab one of these and I just kind of do one over the back of that chair and then down to here. This one I kind of loop right here over this corner. And then this one I will wrap all the way around both of them. These things do tend to shift and move around a little bit, but they never actually move out of place. Next step is I put the wheel dock down on the floor. I get that pretty well lined up. Quick note about this wheel chalk. It's called a wheel dock. We'll put a couple of links down below where we've used it and shown its use a few times. It's not that hard. It's a piston though that locks the wheel in. A lot of people have asked about the B&W biker bar. Uh, those are great, but they don't make them for Indians. So we're out of luck on those. But even if they did make it for Indian, I don't know that I want to bolt it to the floor. This has worked great just setting it here and strapping it down on four corners. So why fix it if it's not broken? Next step is to get Lucille in the garage. This time it's going to look a little bit different because Lucille's coming from an actual garage. <laughs> an actual garage. So it's going to be a little bit different than it is when we're at a campground. We will throw in a few clips of other times that Chad has ridden it in from different campgrounds. And you'll see that it's a varying degree of incline on the ramp, depending on how the, yeah. the RV is positioned. And if the ramp is ever too steep, all I have to do is just raise the nose of the RV to lower the back and it goes down. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. First step is to get these patio doors in load mode. And you may notice that the patio doors look different than they used to look. When we bought our RV, it was built in 2017, and the Lippert three-season patio doors that came with it at that time had the plastic sheets with Velcro. And the last couple of years, they've been putting these in, and Grand Design hooked us up with these when we were in Elkhart recently. Grand Design and Lippert. And Lippert, yeah. And they are amazing. That's such a big difference, both insulation and sound-wise, and also just the fact that it looks nice to look through. It's not plastic. Mm -hmm. These come in clear, tinted, and blackout mode. Mm -hmm. But we wanted the tinted. Yeah, blackout would be kind of weird. They're nice. Yeah, they're super nice. We're going to put this into ramp mode. Now I'm going to open these. And that bungee that I stashed over here earlier comes into play. They're super easy to open. Again, my conveniently stashed bungee. That just keeps both the doors and the patio rails out of the way. Even if the wind blows, they're not gonna get in my way when I pull the motorcycle in. And now we load the motorcycle.
One thing I really like about this wheel dock is after I hit the piston and lock it in, I can just get right off of it and strap it down. Don't need any assistance or anybody to hold the bike or anything. These are all four of the same straps. They have a nice soft thing on here that goes on the loop. So you'll see when By I strap thing, them down. Means fur, nice faux furry, fur. faux fur thing. One back here. Excuse that Lucille's a little bit dirty here. Oh my gosh. But these just strap right around the forks. Right down to here. I'm not gonna snug it down until I get all four done. Now I will crank these all down. Now everything just kind of goes back the way it was. Pull the patio rails in and stash the cables. I just tuck these in here like this. Make sure these are out of the way so the door can close. And the way I've learned to do this is to just time it because this likes to swing out. Swing it, close it. Garage mode is ready to go. One thing that's new on our T24 checklist is to make sure that our new three season doors, that the glass is in the down position. Right, let's go ahead and do that. We'll make sure these are all in the down position and we will lock this for travel so they're not sliding around. One thing that we will do the morning before departure in T0 is I will power down our network attached storage, which is up there. That's the last step. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> this is garage mode. Now we're going to take it back to office mode. Step one is just to unlatch this so I don't have to come back in and do it. Basically, it's everything in reverse. Gonna now go back into patio mode here and get the office set up. Next, I take these, unstrap them. Make sure all these are down. Still the wheel dock in the corner over here. The towel has no functional purpose other than to kind of camouflage it. So it's not quite so mechanical looking in the corner. Chairs will just stay out there until I get the desk set up. I usually bring those back down to stand height. 
Uh, but first I have to pull the pins out. A lot of times I forget this and can't figure out why they won't come down. Now is when I take the pins, stash them back up here, take the extra bungee, stash it up here. It'll stay up there out of the way until travel day. Same thing over here. And again, the pins, they just stay up here, tucked away until travel day. Now I can bring the desks down. Keep an eye out for things like this. I mean, it's just a cable, but and actually this cable's going away because we have the new monitor, so. Put that up out of the way. This pops up, this pops up. And then I stash this under here. Set everything back up. Desks are set up, just gotta put them back down in sit mode. Now we're gonna take you from office mode to guest suite mode, AKA Chad's daughter's visiting mode. Pretty much. Cause that's pretty much the, <laughs> the only, only people that come to visit <laughs> us. A little note about this mode transformation. Obviously this bunk up here has to come down into bunk mode for it to be a bed and be used. Now, when we swapped out our Happy Jack benches for these desks, it presented a little bit of a problem because the way that this thing works is, obviously this has to go up, you pull the pins on the thing, and then you let them back down again. These act as a transport for the bed itself. So with these monitors on here and no more benches and things sticking up past where this thing goes, I wanted to be able to lay stuff down on the desk, pull the monitors off, and then just use these as they were purposed uh, to go up. The issue is, the issue was that the posts for our monitor arms stuck up about that high. Even though we only use one monitor arm, they're designed for more than one so they can stack, which is why that thing was so high. We don't use that. So I cut them down to the bare minimum so they're below this guy right here. So step one in this process is going to be just to lower everything. Turn this off. That goes nice and low. The idea here is to get everything below this because this is what engages the bed to bring it down. A little note also about this new modified process. I did a tour recently of one of the newer Momentums that had a newer version of the Happy Jack bench. And the newer versions don't have the pins anymore. The things on the bottom there click in and lower it down and then you gotta put it back up and it clicks it in again. It's kind of automatic. So this process should work with the newer Happy Jack benches as well as these old ones. So the process on this side obviously is a bit more. It'll be the same on this side once I get the new monitor in, but it's really just a matter of unplugging a couple of connections back here. So everything is nice and flat now on the desks so that they're not gonna hit the bottom of the bed as we lift this up. The whole idea here is now these right here will engage with the top while everything else just kind of sits on the desk, doesn't get smushed or anything because these are quite a bit higher. There's a couple of things that I'm going to keep an eye on. That is a normal sound for this thing when it reaches the top. And ours has always been a little bit off kilter. I know that when I put the bed all the way up and it stops, the pins on this side are gonna be nice and loose and the pins on this side are gonna be tight. So I pull these out, take it down just a tick, and then I pull these side out. Stash these up here, Got the rest of the pins. Now, if I remember correctly, the ones on this side are gonna be snug. Yep. Too snug to pull out, so I'll pull it down just a tick. Pops right out now. Just a tick. 
just a tick. <laughs> and that one pulls right out also. I'll stash these over here. And also we'll pull this out of the way because I've tried to put the desks down before and almost smash that. And now the bed should come down. You can see my extra ethernet cable that I've got tucked in here coming out. I'm just gonna pull that out for now and let it kind of hang. And the bed should stop any minute now. There it is. I'll take these down to sit level. And now it's time to just put the desk back together. that's it now it is in guest suite slash office cave mode almost <laughs> the bed still needs to be made clearly yeah we're not gonna do that yet it's yeah, okay because no. i'm short but when we have our guests i am definitely more in cave mode now it doesn't seem so bad right now but when his girls are visiting we always have the back patio door up and closed so they have more privacy and you know, if it's cold, of course, it yeah. keeps it warmer, but it just keeps them safer. I don't think that we would still um, allow ourselves to have full office mode if it wasn't his daughters. If it was friends of ours yeah. or your parents or my family or whatever. We'd give them the whole room. But because it's his daughters, they we can... said, <laughs> you're going to let us come in here and work. So, yeah. you they, know. They can suck it up. We live in an RV. This is the last piece of the office setup. I for, almost forgot the ladder. I guess we need the ladder anyhow. Yeah. Now the RV does come with a small ladder to get up to the bunk here and to get up to the um, little top bunk that we call the attic in the main living area. But those are pretty small and the rungs are very narrow and hard and kind of uncomfortable on the feet. So we got rid of those and Chad's bringing in the ladder that we use now, which makes things a lot easier. So this is obviously our work ladder. It's our new uh, telescoping A-frame ladder. It makes a heck of a lot better ladder than the stock one that comes with this. Those are the three modes. Now we got to put it back in regular office mode. <laughs> yeah. And we still want to give you a little tour of our office setup. And we're going to wait until Chad gets his new monitor set up. So mm -hmm. that will likely be in the morning. Yeah. So we will show you what a typical morning looks like for us. So putting this whole setup back into normal office mode is pretty much like you figured. Get the stuff off the desk again, jack the bed up, put the pins in, bring them back down. This stuff isn't like super complicated. You just kind of got to make sure you do things in order. You'll notice that up here, is our third AC. So I want to have this section open so that there's clear airflow to get into that system. So now that I've got the desk up and engaged with the bed, I can see that I've actually got quite a bit more room in here than I thought as far as having to lay things down. In fact, you can see how much I shaved off of here. I could have left more on there if I needed to. Got to remember to unplug these. And get my slack on this back over this way. I have the same issue that I did putting these up as I did taking them down as far as the pins being just a tiny bit off. And that's it, then come back down now. I'm gonna put it back down to sit level. I'm gonna get my new monitor set up and we will see you guys in the morning.
disarmed. Good morning, it's about 7.30 and I just got the office opened up. I typically have about an hour to an hour and a half before Chad and Daisy wake up to have the office to myself. And I just wanted to say that I think my favorite part about having our office back here is how our view always changes outside of our patio doors. Of course, this view today isn't the greatest because it's just a garage door, but we have had some awesome views outside this door and it's really cool that it gets changed all the time. So my favorite part about working out of the office of our RV is the commute. It's about 35 feet. All right, everybody is awake. We're gonna take you on a quick tour of some of the things that we use here in the office. We'll make it fast because we know it's a long video. Yeah. And you can have at it tech yep. manager. Obviously this is our camera bag. We try to keep everything charged and ready to go. This is our charging area where you can see we've got lots of stuff plugged in from our mics to our drone batteries to the GoPro. Oh yeah, and I wanna say about this bag here, it's the perfect size. It fits in our trunk in the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. And so it goes with us when we travel on Lucille or in the truck, of course. And if you're curious about what camera gear we use, we have an FAQ topic that I'll post below. We keep all that up to date that outlines all the camera gear we use, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. Moving on down, we just have an external 10 terabyte hard drive, my laptop, uninterruptible power supply is very important for computers. And of course, this is my new 38 inch Dell curved monitor. I'm a little jealous. She's got a 34 inch. The thing is, <laughs> if I had a monitor that was larger than the one I already have, then I'm at completely out of space on this desk. So yeah. you have to build me a bigger one. I'm going to build her a bigger desk. I can add a good eight inches onto this end down here. Maybe I don't an know inch. why I got stuck with the small desk in the first place. Well, you know, I, was, I wasn't I was thinking about how far. I wanted to leave that door unimpeded, but we never I mean, use that door I'm anyway. I'm the editor. I need the big monitor. Well, this just happened last week. But still. <laughs> One thing we got not too long ago were these lights. We wanted lights in here, and I tried various stick-up lights up here, but none of them were bright enough because this is kind of far away, way mm -hmm. up here. Mm -hmm. And these work out great because we can adjust both the brightness and temperature of the light and of course it's very versatile very maneuverable and i don't think they're very expensive either of course we'll have links for those below tara has pretty much the same setup except she has this tiny 34 inch monitor <sighs> <laughs> and she's got better speakers so when we're previewing videos we can have better sound a lot of times she'll have this over there this is uh we showed you this this is our drive archive also, if you're interested in how we manage our files for our, our YouTube channel, because we have tons and tons, I mean, hundreds of gigabytes per episode, and how we manage all of those, uh, part of that is right up here. So if you saw our internet video up here, that is our communication command center. It has our 12 terabyte network attached storage and our PepWave PepLink Max Transit Duo, which keeps us connected all of the time. Yeah. Anything else to say about our office? We love our office. <laughs> we do. I couldn't and imagine hey, not having a separate space for office. I just could, I don't think I could deal with it. Now that we've had it for three years, we're never going to not have an office, I don't think. Your hair looks awesome. <laughs> hey, we're keeping it real. This is bedhead. So does mine. <laughs> all right, that's it. You've seen all the modes that our garage can transform into from travel garage mode to office mode, which is most of the time, to guest suite mode, which we will be using in about a week. So we're yeah. super excited. <laughs> and uh, that's it. We got to get back to work. Yep. Let's do it. First thing we got to do is remove the puppy. 
we gotta go, remove the puppy from the office. Go put your bed away, Daisy. Go put go do your part. Put your bed away. Put your bed away. <laughs> Where's your bed go? If we could train her to do anything, it would be amazing. Yeah. I'm trying to stay out of frame of the camera. <laughs> so I'm pushed up against the door here. Cause RV life. <laughs> Let me see her. Hey Daisy. Why don't you chew a little louder? This is just a demo. We did all this for you guys. All of it. By the way. All this stuff. We're not Which, traveling today. in retrospect, today. was a big mistake. It was a bad idea. It was a really bad idea. <laughs> it's been but, all day. But once you get going, you know, you just got to finish. Yeah. Look at the camera, Daisy. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Over there. That's the, the camera. Your people adore you, and they want to see your pretty face. Even though you're dirty. Even though you're dirty and stinky. Yeah. Fix your... Daisy, lunch. you got lucky today that we had way too much filming to do because I think that you're going to have a reprieve on your bath again. <laughs>